Hello everyone, it's Denise here today and I'm making a birthday card for my niece. I started off with the base of the card and then also cutting the various layers that I want to put in the front of the card. These papers from Bow Bunny are so pretty. Um, purple is not normally my usual color, but um, I just love these um, purple patterned papers and so I wanted to use them. I don't really measure with a ruler or anything. I kind of eyeball it and then um, just take it from there. I inked all the edges with black ink and it just gave definition to the various layers. I then stuck all this down and raised the top layer with a layer of foam. This pattern paper had some really nice splashes on them but I wanted to accentuate that so I added some distress ink splatters to the splatters that were already on the page. I wanted to do some stamping on this card um, but I wanted it to blend in with the faded rose and leaves on the back of this um, page. So I did the stamping but I did it not very dark and gave it a faded look. I ink the edges of the title of this card and also the um, playing card and then it was time to stick these things down. I stamped the title with black Versafine ink. It's so gorgeous for stamping, it just makes it really clear. Now it was time to start placing some flowers and some beauties on the front of this card and to also put that title down. I wanted to give the title dimension and so I used a stapler to um, put the one end down with some foamies behind the middle to keep it in place and then um, I stapled the other side down but you can see that it's got some nice dimension and because there was foam beneath I didn't have to do anything too much I just uh, then turned the corners in on the inside. Now it's time to stick down those flowers. I didn't have any centers for the flowers yet, so I got out my bow bunny gems and pearls and I added some flower centers. I added some foam dots to a little tag from the Noteworthy pack that I wanted to use in the front of this card too. I inked 
the edges of the butterflies and then decided where I wanted to put them. Um, gave them a little bit of dimension by using a foam mat and then I stuck them down and added some gems to their centers. I added some highlights to the flowers with some gesso. I'm not sure if you've seen the new gesso from Vicky Bouton American Crafts. It's super. I then also cut a piece of paper for the inside of the card, which I wanted to um, put down so that I had a, a nice place to write a special message. I had some little leaves and little swirls that I wanted to add to those flowers and so I inked the edges with Distress Ink and I also added some detail with a black pen. I stuck all these little bits down in the clusters and that was the completion of the card. Thanks so much for coming past to have a look and to see what I created today. Please look on the Bow Bunny blog for all the products used.